Just the dust and the clocks ticking on and on. Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? <laughs> I remember Scott? your belly. This is Scott! Oh, yes, of course. Well, good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. Oh, at my age, time means nothing anymore. I, I repair clocks, but I try to forget about time. Well, how about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's a, she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Well, this, this calls for a celebration. I've just the thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I, I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. I guess I'll look at these clocks while he's not there. <laughs> I guess she can't do that. Nice to see Manfred. Oh. Do an old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell him to call back this afternoon. What's the phone? Sure, no problem. I'm trying to look at the, the phone view. I have to go around the counter now. Hello? Yeah, this is Manfred's. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. I was hoping to be somebody like the killer. There's no more thoughts. I've thought everything I can. He has a clear conscience. Time to get shit. Well, to old friends. I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. Oh. Let's have a look. I think out of all the series I've done... Now could you pass me the uh, oh, wait, what is magnifying that? glass from behind the counter, oh, Sure, please. I'll get it. My eyes oh, are the counter beginning here to or there? I'm gonna look over here. Where he's looking at the watches. Not there. Out of all the series I've done, though, I've, I, I think this is probably one of my favorites. I know Dead Space 2, Amnesia, those are like my top two, but this one's up there. I just like these story-driven games. They really work well with me. Thanks. Well, let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. She looks kind of creepy. Hmm. <laughs> A royal she, she five. Agrees. Mm, yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Mm, produced between 1907 and 1924. Yes, no doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. Huh. These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or, or in their cellar. Hmm. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. At least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Well, yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. So I wonder who's closing it on. If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. The old man's a killer. That'd be a hell of a twist. The sweet, innocent type. Like 
had a headache there for a moment. The killer's name might be in Manfred's papers. Or if he was a real killer and a true maniac. Lauren thinks she's about to find the killer. It's been a while since Manfred went into his office. Let's take a look. I need to go take a look. <laughs> but a true killer would not put his real name, no matter what. Kind of like that movie Seven. The dude cut, cut off his uh, he cut off his fingerprints. Hello, of his Manfred. Fingers. Hello. Your call is locked, sir. A Holy police call shit. will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir. Hello. That happened too soon. Oh my god. He's dead. Oh god. What, just that's it? Time to go home? What the hell happened? Oh wow. I need to get that list though. Scott? Oh my god. What are you doing? I'm calling the police. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be his scapegoats. We gotta get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? Oh, this is going to be a decision I have to make. Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. You better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. Dude, you're going to need more than that. What are you doing, Lord? If someone comes in, we're going to be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for owners of royals when he was killed. Forget it. we got to get out of here fast. Now, did he get the alcohol, or did... Oh, he looks like he was... I don't know if he's stabbed or what. Okay, I touched the phone. What else did I touch? I gotta wipe the hell out of that. I didn't think I'd be cleaning today. I can go back and see what number called what. Okay, what else did I touch? The, the cup over here? The bottle? Shit. Oh, there we go. Oh my god. Dude, you're using your other hand to clean it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what about those other fingerprints you just put on? Uh, the bottle? Do it all. Do it all! Why don't you wish you was playing right now, sweetheart? <laughs> you just wish. I was gonna play this last night, but I got tired and lazy. There we go. What else did I touch? I sat on the chair. My fat ass is gonna have an imprint there too. What about what about this chair? Did I touch it? She she touched that uh that little thing on the table. And she touched this. And what else? Anything else? You can, can you recall anything else? The open the front door. I mean. What else? Are you giving me much longer? Yeah, there, there we go. Any second. I'm almost finished. Come on. That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? Oh, uh, oh shit! Trick question. Uh, I'm gonna say, did I come over here and touch anything? All right, I think it's good. I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. Come on, let's go. It's kind of a weird maneuver. It's gonna show everything. What was that? Hmm? Oh shit. What? I forgot to wipe down the phone that he called with. That called the cops. So, oh shit. You claim the victim was killed while you were in his shop. Correct? Yes, he went to get something in his office. A few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. That's when I found him. You should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. 
Listen, we had nothing to do with this murder. We were only there by coincidence. I just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Okay? Well, that's that. I forget, I'm a terrible uh, killer, I guess. <laughs> well, well, Scott Shelby. You in trouble again? Wrong time, wrong place. You know what it's like. Don't sweat it. I'll take care of it. For old times' sake. Thanks, Carter. I owe you one. Are you on to anything at the moment? Well, I got some ideas. Nothing concrete. Well, if it goes beyond the idea stage, you'd tell me about it, wouldn't you, Scott? Sure.